interesting actually taking the tour because Burlington High School actually eight different buildings. Many of those buildings connected by ramps like the one you see right there. Now school staff, they tell me they try to patch problems as they pop up, but they say the building is old and not as accessible as it needs to be. Crumbling stairs, classrooms without air conditioning. I'm sweating right now and I'm not even doing anything. It's a sauna in here. Asbestos tiles, old windows. All of the seals here are gone. And ramps too steep for wheelchairs. All reasons Burlington school officials want to renovate the high school. Yep. Property services director Marty Spalding recently broke his leg. He says using a scooter to get around has given him a first-hand knowledge that the high school's layout just isn't accessible and often not practical. I will point out that there's no restrooms in this first floor of D building uh, also. None at all. Not at all. The school was built in 1963 with a few updates since. The lockers are too narrow to fit books or backpacks, so they say no one uses them. Other parts of the school aren't up to safety codes or compliant with the Americans for Disabilities Act. They want to change that. This project is really taking a building that was uh, built um, b before accessibility was a, a factor in design of construction of schools um, and making the building accessible to all of our students and our community. To fix BHS, they want to demolish two, maybe three buildings, reconstructing that classroom space around the main structure. They say it could look something like this and mean more energy efficient heating and cooling, better security and greater accessibility. To get the money to do all that, voters will need to approve the project. And for that to happen, they'll need the city council to put a $60 million bond question on the November ballot. I think once you've actually walked through and seen um, the level of standard that we have, that you can say, you know, it's not good enough for our kids and we need to do better. Now, if the project is approved, it's expected to take between two and three years. In the meantime, the school district is offering free tours of the Burlington High School. If you want to take a tour like the one I did today, you can go to our website, mynbc5.com, or use our MyNBC5 mobile app. That we've got